The Norm West Exploding Bare Bones Broadcasting, a quickie. I want you to remind you of something very instantly. I push no violence. I use it as a, a um, ah, there's my brain. Bad job, brain! Still won't give me the word. Well, a metaphor, because you surely understand it. You're all into it. Well, let me remind you. A polling Consensus, not a contest. Polling isn't a contest. These parties and these idiots got you in contest at polling time. That's not where you're talking about bipartisan. Well, believe me, polling is very bipartisan. And after that, you don't want bipartisan at all. No system is set up to work bipartisan. No, it isn't. They are not allowed to bipartisan. It's illegal. The system of forbids it. Bipartisan. Bah! By bribery? No. Let somebody bribe the masses, which they already are, obviously, with just a power suggestion only. Bah! Something going to get in their favorship. The masses get favors before they vote. Only they're not going to buy it. They're wiser than that, aren't they? Employment's not enough favor to keep the masses quiet. Sorry, that ain't working. Bunk. And it's a jading position to start with. The masses must get none of the above on the ballot and make all this system run against the word no. All the rulemaking, you need to get a court trial to challenge the law. The individual in court is not the reason for the trial. No, no, no. What's right, wrong, and indifferent is the the... the the system is always on trial at a trial. And you put the system on trial every time you have a trial. You put your remarks about living on trial every time you have a trial. You put the decency in charge on trial every time you have a trial. The source of your laws, the source of your reasoning is on trial in a courtroom. What is felony and what is not felony is on trial in a courtroom. You must have these trials. Well, we'll have our prisons full. No, we won't. And believe me, when you start filling up your prisons because of something, doesn't that indicate something to do in social living to affect that? When you don't have the prisons full of and from trial, what is in prison? What's there? When trial is the only way you can fill the prisons and when they are, you, then you do analyze what's there and you reflect it back into your society and what's causing it. That's the court's position. It shall function that way. Why isn't it functioning that way? Is your question everywhere on this planet? Do you know that pygmies have court? Have you ever paid attention to a pygmy trial? I suppose it doesn't have any value. What a bat! Or is the first real pygmy trial when the chiefs meet outside the villages and set the whole thing up? Pygmy trial. What a bat! A lot is decided there between those two chiefs outside the village somewhere having a conversation. They don't battle the terms of living next to each other into effect. No, they don't. Pay attention to that system and see if you can find any validity that you could apply to your system. Ah! And do it. They have trial. And sometimes very benevolent and it helps their society stay coherent among each other and all the differences that pygmies share among each other. In a lot of cases, in most cases, they stay very coherent. Now, if they don't anymore, it's because of somebody affecting that, and as much as they could possibly. If pygmies fight among each other, I wonder why. And of course, humans have been fighting among each other for three and a half million years, and that is, of course, stupid. Only it's the absence of weaning that makes that happen, nothing else. Nothing else. You don't fight among each other. That's not what this creature does. I'm sorry, it just doesn't. You are not hyenas, no matter what you think. My grandson called you all hyenas before he passed away. 
idiots and hyenas and died at eight years old. And he was treated very much that way. When you look at how my grandson died, he was never around anything yet, an idiot and a hyena. My grandson called me an idiot. Well, he loved me, and we had some very intimate and wonderful conversations, and I'll always miss my grandson. Well, at the same time, I know this place would have been so, it was so cruel to him all the time he lived. Never had him identified properly, and always lied about him and to him. And the ones that liked him the best lied to him. I sure did. And you'd have to lie about somebody to lie to them, wouldn't you? And he knew all about that. Idiots and hyenas, he said, and died. Eight years old. Haunts me. Really haunts Grandpa. I'll tell you, it does. I had no clue, or believe me, I wouldn't be in Grandpa's shoes. No, I wouldn't. Had I known this was going to happen, Grandpa wouldn't be here. Grandpa. Well, you did temper me. There's no two ways about that, Lord. Thank you very much for the tempering, Lord. I'm tempered. Mm -hmm. You hit me, I won't splinter. No, I'm tempered. I've been heated up and cooled down, sometimes very quickly. I'll be back. <laughs>